harnessing the power of the sun to purify water. In southern France, these small spheres are doing just that, distilling dirty water or seawater. The self-sufficient system emits zero CO2, making it completely sustainable. We're going to put the unsafe water on the tray here into the sphere. This sphere will be heated by the sun's rays and all the impurities that were in the water will be trapped on this tray within the sphere, while the pure water will trickle down the walls to this lower sphere and the drinking water can be recovered. In a world where one in three people don't have constant access to clean drinking water, this European project, called Helio, offers a solution, says its co-inventor. We all need water to live. A human being needs two litres a day. This sphere is sized to make water for five people. That's 10 litres per day. A total of €800,000 has so far been invested in Helio. Half of that came from the European Union's cohesion policy, the other half from French firm Marine Tech. Many industrial systems already harness the sun to produce drinking water. What distinguishes this tech, however, is its autonomous nature and the fact it's made from recycled materials. It was that sustainability that attracted businessman Enrique Encinas. It's a super futuristic design. It's very flexible and can be configured for farms, increasing daily water production to the amount you need. I think it weighs around 80 kilos, between 80 and 100 kilos, but it can be assembled in two hours and taken apart by two people quickly as well. The water system is already in use in Oman and Tahiti. French entrepreneur Gilles Nolib has obtained 20 spheres, five of which he's giving to a school in southern Madagascar to provide water for around 100 people. We've decided to give away five of the 20 units for a very simple reason. There's an absolutely critical need for water in southern Madagascar. It's crucial for drinking, for food and also for hygiene. I hope that we will be able to improve the lives of these people who are currently facing a severe famine. Since 2010, the UN has recognised access to clean water and sanitation as a fundamental human right.